journey I'll never forget. Start with adventure, that's for sure. I've never ever, without going into details, I've never ever been that seasick on a boat ever before. But I'm, I'm sleeping in the port, put it that way. Oh man, <laughs> gotta laugh about it. What an unforgettable ferry journey. Actually, I do want to forget it because it was so bad. But sometimes life gives you lemons and you've got to decide if you're gonna make lemonade out of it. And again, that's what this trip was about for me. Could I overcome my own physical and emotional pain and push through in this journey? As we got ready for the day, got on our bikes and started riding, I gotta tell you, I couldn't eat, you know, before getting back on the road. And these windy roads aren't helping me feel better either. I'm hoping at some point in the day that I'll start to feel better. Driving into Mindoro Occidental was interesting because it seemed different and reminded me of a place that I used to call home. The air was drier and maybe a tad less humid as well. I saw flat fields in the distance where farmers were growing crops and squares and it reminded me of Arizona. Uh, headed towards San Jose in Mandoro Island and wow when uh, commander and I got down to the bottom of this valley it felt really dry I mean I thought I felt like I was back in Arizona with the flat fields and the way they're cultivated um, it's just really interesting they grow a lot of onions here I see the uh, the green stems sticking out of the uh, out of the dirt but wow yeah these fields are so much like the fields you'd see in Arizona it's pretty amazing and that is it's a very interesting place I've got some film coming down the hills and uh, gosh it was steep I've got uh, you know I'm filming commander but I don't know, must have been a 35% grade coming down. Woo, I thought my brakes were gonna burn up. But yeah, uh, Meg Saisai headed towards San Jose on Mindoro Island. We're gonna keep trucking and I'm not sure where we'll end up, but you know, last night the ferry ride, <laughs> it was rough. I couldn't even film it, I was so sick. And these windy roads are not doing uh, a lot of help for my stomach today. Um, but yeah, pressing on uh, so that you can see some of this beautiful country.
town of San Jose on our way north on the west coast of Mindoro. Right, I'm in San Jose. I'm on a mission. I feel like having a mango shake, but I don't know where anything is in the town. So I hired a buddy here. He's gonna take me to a mango shake. But yeah, you can get a look at a uh, little bit of San Jose. What's your name, my friend? Jack. Jack, I'm David. Can I get a mango shake? <laughs> Just one. Small, medium, large. Um, how big is a large? Yeah, give me a large, please. Large would be great. Just one, please. Yeah, no, no lid. Just I'm gonna, I'll drink it right, right away. No straw. Okay, thank you. So Jack, what is this place? Is this the the city, uh, the plaza? Yes. Okay. It's All right. Town of San Lucy. Uh huh. Yeah, it's very nice. You still have the Christmas tree up too. All right. Yeah. So I am, like I said before, totally sick from the ferry ride from Katiklan to here, and I need uh, some something. I haven't eaten all day because I was sick. I think a mango shake is gonna do the trick. But let's see, let's see. Okay. We've got a brand new subscriber, friends. Jack. Awesome. That looks great. All the tricycle drivers, get one. It, look, it looks awesome. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> San Jose Municipal Hall. There is my medicine for the day made by, what's your name? Annabelle. Annabelle? Ona. Ona. Okay, thank you, Ona. It looks so good. Crazy, I've got a motorcycle. I'm driving to Manila, but I have a tricycle to go pick up a, pick up a mango shake. <laughs> uh, much better than trying to find it on my own. There would have been no way.
on the the resto on the right. I say I really enjoyed my tricycle tour from Jack and San Jose. The mango shake is just what I needed to help settle my stomach. As I went through town, I noticed how friendly everyone was and helpful too. But now it's time to get back on the road and continue to haul ass north towards Sublime. I really enjoyed Mindoro Occidental and hope to revisit San Jose sometime in the future for more than just a few hours. Further north into Mindoro, we're at the town of Sublayan, which has a lot of fishing and fishermen. So you can see how many there are. And when we came in, they were just full of fishing boats. So yeah, multiple boats. Gosh, there's gotta be some great seafood here. So yeah, you know, cool. Check it out. Uh, hey guys, today from I'm the here. Philippines. Some and Edwill. 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 Yes, we're uh, you know we're at the harbor, and they you were telling me about the history, the history of this of town. The, this town uh, before uh, 18th centuries, and they're coming something before the uh, this uh, Spanish. Mm -hmm. They come here. A lot of Spanish uh, history and. Uh, it's the same before uh, the colonial cities of uh, Spain okay before, uh -huh. the British. yeah and then the British took over yeah. okay okay before. yep well the Philippines has it now so that's a good thing right yeah it's the Philippines <laughs> no, <laughs> Philippines is now free yeah uh, yeah because uh, the Spanish people they live yep. yeah yeah man after the Spanish the next coming is for the Japanese Mm-hmm. The Jackie, Japanese, Japanese uh, occupied Japanese the Philippines. Empire, yeah. yeah. Occupied mm -hmm. the Philippines. Then yeah. the next is the American. Well and they liberated. Uh, I don't know. They didn't the occupy game. so much, did they? Yeah. They helped. No, they occupied as well. <laughs> <laughs> kind of. It's, thank, it's thankful if Philippines uh, occupied by the American people. <laughs> well, you know, they, they helped take it back from there. That was good. But yeah, there's a lot of bad things as well, too. So, you know, but uh, well, anyhow, the Philippines are the Philippines. It's your own country. And so that's amazing. Uh, do you like, how long have you lived here? I am, I live here uh, now. I am 40 years old. 40? Have you been here for 40 years? Yes. Okay. All right. Our house is only there. Ah, oh, really? Yeah. So, has there been a lot of change in this town with yes. technology? Before and... this uh, coastal road, mm -hmm. you know, the water is... There's uh, nothing there, right? Coming there. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, so that no helps. No boulevard yeah. like this now. Yeah, this is nice. Before it's... And the house, house here is very... Uh, only house there, house 
like yeah, there's that. not. There wasn't a lot of houses here, yes. right? Okay. There's but, not a lot of houses here before. Yeah, but now with the protection of the wall and the road, this is a perfect place to have a house. I would. Yes, I would uh, imagine it's no, very uh, nice to be here. The time change and this mm -hmm. one time. Uh, yeah. Body parts. Yeah. Then our all the church from the Christian is there from mm -hmm. the mountain. Uh huh. Uh, before that is the the Spaniard the Spanish, place. Spanish fort. Yes. The fortress. Uh, because they have uh, the old. Uh, uh, Armed by cannon. The cannon. Yes. Mm -hmm. That look. That they, looks like a great bring, place to put uh, a couple cannons. Coming uh, any battleship from. Battleship yeah, time. you can defend yeah, it. Yeah, uh -huh. can defend. Yeah. So maybe you can see that, friends. But um, well, from here it's hard to see. But it's a point that goes out, and uh, you could really defend this whole harbor with, you know, with some uh, big cannons. If you coming there, you see the old church that is from the 18th century. From that is uh, the Spanish uh, making because the Spanish is the one uh, bless uh, religious uh, like uh, Catholic. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They definitely introduced Catholicism to the Philippines. One of the uh, the, 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 the country with the largest population of Catholics is the Philippines, not Italy. Yeah. <laughs> not where it originated. Not, not the Rome or <laughs> not Rome. <And> Italy. <laughs> yeah. So, well, thank you. Yeah. Sir, uh, where country do you belong? I am a U.S. citizen. I lived in the state of Arizona before I moved here a year and a half ago. You are from Arizona. Yeah. I, I have uh, no one relatives there. Relatives there. Well, there's in a lot of Filipinos. California. In mm, and California. His, uh, too. Uh, his uh, house is there only. Okay. Inside because we have like a uh, same compound. Yeah. Compound. Nice. There's, uh, nice. Four houses inside. Okay. Mm. Yeah. That's the three. Okay. We are the first people here okay. in our town. Really? Yeah, I'm wow. 40 years old. Okay. Then I, after a few years, I go from other country, uh -huh. Dubai. Oh, so you worked abroad as an yeah. OFW for a while. Uh, okay. From a lot Dubai, of too. Then Muscat Oman, uh -huh. Doha, Qatar. Uh, Kuwait City, okay. then Amman Jordan. I worked before. Yeah, yes, that's right. I, so I saved that little money. Though. I have a little Make house. Your own house. Very yes. nice. Mm. So as the day ends in Sublion, I'm reminded that it's not about the strength of the body, but the strength of a person's spirit that helps them achieve their goals. So friends, my journey to Manila continues. Thank you.